What can you tell us about the next project here? The cool thing about it is, which I think I can reveal, uh, is that it's it's kind of in the horror supernatural space. Ooh. Um, but, you know, then I went into the industry and I was working on stuff that was like Serious Sam and uh, an extreme motocross game and the tie into the Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider movie. Hell yeah. Uh, things like that. Um, and so, you know, I in my heart, I had this passion for like doing narrative things and we got a chance to work on Silent Hill. And really, this would have been like in the early 2000s there were very, very few game franchises that gave you permission to, to care about story. Hmm. Um, like I remember so many times, uh, especially so shattered memories of those projects was the one where I actually got to come in and have the idea and write the story. And we kind of created this thing, uh, conceived fully as a thing. Um, and so many aspects of that game were like somewhat innovative at the time. And, producers would be like oh we don't like this idea like this why can't you just do xyz and then they'd kind of sigh and be like i guess it is silent hill so it'd be like <laughs> you, this story is about uh the conflicted grief of a teenage girl and gonna have these long slow periods which are just kind of sad and you want to make people feel bad or maybe even bored at this point and then you want to make them feel like uncomfortable Oh, I guess it's Silent Hill. <laughs> we can't say no to Cause, anything. Because yeah. otherwise, like, every, as a lead designer, whatever I did, at some point, a uh, producer would say, but is it fun? They're like, games should be fun all the time. If this isn't fun right now, it shouldn't be in the game. Uh, and obviously, trying to tell stories, you're, you're dealing with a broader palette than just fun. Um, so getting to work on Silent Hill... Uh, was a huge thing for me. Um, and I love psychological horror. I love thrillers. I love weird, dark stuff. Um, and, you know, to some extent, uh, you know, Her Story and Telling Lies have those themes in them. Uh, and obviously Her Story is slightly more gothic. Uh, Telling Lies goes to some very dark places. But um, with this new project, we are getting to play in the, the, the horror toolkit again, which is like really fun. So uh, do you see it kind of as a spiritual successor to Shutter Memories then? Uh, it's no, I'm trying to be spoilery now. Uh, cause I had a good answer to that, which was spoilery. Um, <laughs> it's very much, it's like, Oh, we've been playing around with this nonlinear video thing in her story and telling lies. Oh, here is a different thing we can do with that. That seems, uh, challenging to pull off, but let's try. Um, and, and just like having, the ability to uh, screw around more because it's horror is, I think, initially the fun thing with this project because obviously, to some extent, her story and telling lies, there is there is some suspension of disbelief, but in theory, these are government pieces of software that have videos on them that have been recorded for a reason um, and there is a functionality that makes sense. Um, so going into a place where we can uh, deal with some of the fun stuff you get in uh, Silent Hill type setups where we can um, kind of play with the fabric of reality. So it's do you think cool. do you think the supernatural aspect helps you like explore different parts of like the FMV framework? Because it like you mentioned earlier, a lot of people see like um, that, that that there aren't a lot of differences between telling lies and her story, even though they seem very like they have they're very different in that frame. But do you think that like Okay, well, we have a horror setup. We don't have to be confined by the idea of a webcam when we're doing something with FMV. Um, yeah, I mean, it's more like what are we doing with the story, right? So uh, her story, you know, the the trick there is this is essentially it's almost theater. The whole thing is a series of monologues from this actress who is telling a story, and that story exists outside of this interrogation room so you get the whole breadth of her life but it's this this single uh kind of performance mostly through dialogue and then telling lies is again it's like very different because you're actually seeing into people's lives and we have this story that spans two years so you're seeing all these different people in different situations and it's there's still a constraint like you're seeing these people's lives through this very blinkered kind of view of a webcam that is turned on because there's a reason why it's being turned on at this point in time. Um, uh, but, you know, in both cases, uh, 
the, the reality is fixed. Uh, you are, I try not to say too much, but like you, uh, you know, in, in telling lies, everything behaves. Um, so, you know, the, the, the time makes sense. People's actions line up. There is like a factual reality to it. And I think what I loved about Silent Hill and a lot of my favorite horror is blurring the lines between like a fixed reality and the psychological reality of the characters and having those things bleed into each other, even to the point where like some of my favorite like horror books, it's never entirely clear what is real and what is, is fantasy and, and you know, right. what is in someone's head and what is not. Um, and some of those questions I think get, uh, are interesting in the same way that like uh, like the process of playing her story and telling lies is to start out with a very vague picture of this world. And slowly you add detail to that world and build up a picture of it. Um, so it's possible if you play a lot of telling lies to have a pretty concrete picture of who is doing what, where, why. Um, and like that is, like I compare that to playing a Metroid game and building up a mental map of the world. Like by the end of playing Super Metroid, you pretty much know this planet inside out, how it connects, you know the shortcuts between here and here. Um, and what I love about the Metroid games is that gives you a, uh, it makes it feel real to me. The fact that those worlds are lived in by me, that they've become repetitive, like not repetitive, they, I've become used to them. Uh, when I run through a room, I'm not necessarily absorbing the information. I'm replaying it in my head as I kind of rush to kind of speed run or, you know, cut corners, whatever. Um, and so that for me is what's interesting about like her story and telling lies is you become familiar with these characters in this world. And initially it's just this big disparate bunch of fragments. And then slowly you start to understand more and different bits of information will connect parts of the story. Um, and that sense for me, is what radically makes it different to watching a TV show or a movie is this sense of like living in the story and your brain actually internalizing it and kind of putting the pieces together. Um, and I think what's interesting about taking that to a horror place is like there is no solid ground. Um, it's slightly more antagonistic towards the audience. Um, so that's that's like a fun texture. That yeah. Be playing with. Uh, I know it's a it's a weird time to develop a game, but do you have any ballpark for when this thing might see the light of day? Uh, I think we're it's, it's uh, very early 2022, which is like this. I hate the dates of sci-fi now. <laughs> we're, we're looking at like a schedule at the start of the year, and it was like, oh my god, all all these milestones are happening, like in in blade runner or, like, <laughs> like it's, you, you can't with a serious face be like well let's hit q1 2022 without feeling like you're a villain or yes or something. yeah it's, that's exactly right if you enjoyed this clip from the min max show podcast we think you'll like the full show too you can find it by subscribing to min max's youtube channel or on your favorite podcast app any help spreading the word to keep our whole indie operation here running is appreciated we're here for and because of the wonderful min max community so you're welcome to join 